current and projected free cash flows for Radial Global Operations are shown below. Growth is expected to be constant after 2009. The weighted average cost of capital is 11%. What is the horizon or continuing value at 2009? To solve this problem, we need to use the constant growth or Gordon growth model, which you see on the screen here. We take the free cash flow for the next period and divide it, and divide it by weighted average cost of capital less growth. Let's take a look and see how we determine the horizon or continuing value at 2009. All right, we start off with the change in free, free cash flow from 2009 to 2010. Let me bring that to light and you'll see when I hit the F2 key, it's the $750 of free cash flow projected in 2010 less the $707.55 of free cash flow projected in 2009. Um, then we drop in what the base period is, which is 2009, and that was the 707.55. So to calculate the growth rate, we simply divide the change in free ca cash flow by the base period. And when we do that, we come up with 6% is a growth rate from 2009 to 2010. I see we have an extra zero here. Let me get that off. All right, then to determine the value of the uh, operation or the horizon or continuing value, we use the, um, the Gordon growth model that uh, we see on the screen above. And to do that, we enter the 2009 free cash flow times 1 plus the growth rate of 6%. And once we have that, we divide it by the weighted average cost of capital less the growth rate again. And when we do that, we get $14,999. Now, the, you see I sort of went to some great pain to calculate 707 times 1 plus 6%. And in this problem, you really didn't need to do that. Um, what you could do is just use the $750 in the numerator. So let me copy it over and I'll show you how else you could do it. Just take the $750 since it was given as the free cash flow for 2010 and divide it by the 11% minus the 6% um, rate to calculate the horizon or continuing value, which is equal to $14,999 or uh, pretty near 15000 